Yo. Today's the day, boys. Putting the EJ25 into the rally car. Let's get it. taking the EJ25 and we are throwing it in the rally car today. Today's the day. But real quick, before we get started, we have to do a shout out because we had some people jump on board. Your friends. Yes. My new friends. Your new friends. Clutch Masters has sent us a clutch flywheel and, and an upgraded release bearing. new bearing, upgraded throw bearing for it. We're going to be upgrading it and we kind of just want to tell you a little bit about this setup. So let's dive into what's in the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? And then we'll deal with this release bearing, which is a major upgrade, and I'll tell you a little bit about it. We got you a stage two and a half kit. Two and a half. Two and a half. What does yeah. that mean? We've been playing around with some material, which okay. gives you the best drivability, along yeah. with the right performance. Right. Because nobody likes to push uh, the pedal all the time and have that a leg chatter. workout. No, yeah. have a leg workout. Gotcha. Like six plug, eight plug. 22 plus. Yeah. So we'll be messing around with it. So what we came up with is a two type of surface on both sides. One of them has an FX100, the other one has had the FX300. Uh, oh, what? 300, so it comes out to be 250. So That's yeah, interesting. So it helps helps out on the flywheel side, but when it goes to the transmission, it gives more of a torque out, so you get to feel the actual Power. That's weird. I wouldn't think that works, but I guess it does, huh? It's been working. It's been perfecting for a couple of years now. So we got a good disc in here. Uh, it's a sprung disc. Normally we're not doing sprung stuff, but this time we're going for a sprung setup. It's going to help with the drivability and also with keeping this five-speed alive because we don't have a six-speed just yeah, yet. Yeah, the five-speed definitely has some issues. A little bit increase. Some upgraded uh, springs Spring. in there. And we have oh, look this, at that. the steel flywheel. It's about two pounds lighter than the steel, so it doesn't require any kind of misfire issues or anything like this. So it's really nice. Yeah. Um, That's clean. Solid mate. Release bearing, in, or the uh, pilot bearing inside the That's what it is, flywheel. The yep, it comes along with it. That's pretty rad. All right, and then it looks like it comes with like an OEM replacement style release bearing. It does bearing. come with the OEM bearing, but those are having some trouble on the five speed. So the new kit, what they came up with is come out with the steel shaft. So actually, that slides right on. Oh shaft, shoot! And the upgraded bearing and just rides on the actual. So it's got it's got set screws. Set screws, yes. It has set screws. So now, instead of it riding on the transmission. It's riding on this. That's a phenomenal idea. So now we have to clean that off, do so some set screw the, stuff, and throw that in. The difference between you can see how beef here it is. It's, it's made it's, in Japan. Yeah, I mean, so it's a Japan. Hold them uh, side by side. This angle kind of is an illusion. Right there, you can see the big difference in them. A mm. lot beef here. The size of it, you can tell. Like, yeah. holy shit. Yeah. And it rides on the actual steel shaft. The other upgrade roller on that bearing. is that that's a roller bearing style. It's a style, roll, roller bearing style. Where the OEM one is just a uh, regular bearing, huh? Yeah, roller bearing, regular bearing, roller bearing, regular bearing, roller, roller, bearing. Damn it, can't keep yeah. up with you. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Yo, you don't want to break that. That's the a bad do, idea. The doohickey. The doohickey. We'll call it a doohickey. Well, in Mexico, we call that a chingaderas. <laughs> we'll call it a doohickey. Yeah, that. Well, let's get it installed real quick. We'll clean that up, throw the sleeve on, just kind of show you guys how it goes on, and then we'll throw the clutch on the trans, or on the motor, and we're good to go. You're just so trash. we're going to have Scott, Scott install it. the sleeves. I'm here. Scott, Scott. Hello. We've been Scott. yelling at you the whole time you've been in the restroom. Sorry, Scotty. Lost. Joel going to install the clutch, the clutch on, the, on the new motor. <laughs> yeah, we'll Joel, uh, I don't know if the people have met Joel yet. I don't know What's if the up? channel's met you. This is this is Joel. You guys know Scotty because Scotty helped us with the teardown, and then you know Steve because he's just, he's just he's Steve. Steve. Reinforced. Look at that beautiful thing. We got a fresh ball and a fresh sleeve. You know what they say about having a fresh ball and fresh sleeve, right? 
Makes all the ladies happy. Oh, they say that? I was gonna say is it keep your <laughs> setup running pretty reliably, but <laughs> okay, Scotty. Red lock tight, snug it down pretty good. Yeah, it looks dialed. It's beautiful. If that comes loose, a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Slide it on, shimmy it through. Bada bam, bada boom. Make sure it clicks. There you go. Look at that. Do that again for me. Oh yeah, she's smooth. She real smooth, Scotty. Yeah. Take a look. Look, look. This one. So crap. And we're done. Yep. <laughs> These are pretty rad. Just a little tech tip for you guys. Clutchmaster sends you the plastic one. You can kind of see it right there. Those are great and they work. But if you have the opportunity to get the input shaft to a transmission uh, in like a steel setting, one million times better. Absolutely. This one's mine. Did you cut that off a of transmission? I did. Oh, look, it says your name on it. It's got my name on it. Oh, yes, it is. So no one claims it. Those. Scotty, show me, tell me, tell me, give me like a little tech tip on your uh, torque. What, how you torque and why you torque? How, how you torquing right that? Like, was, is there like an open hand situation going on? Um, is there a tension and a slow, slow pace? You know what, Scotty? You know what I can tell? You used to work at American Tires, huh? I did. How'd you uh, know? <laughs> did you work there too? Yep. You know how I can tell? Open hand. That right there. That right there. Open that hand open hand technique. technique. Can you oh. tell by, by my, my three-point position too, B two. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Clutch is on, transmission's prepped, this guy got the jack under there. Ready boys? Let's do this. It's about that time. So real quick, radium sent us out a Subaru ASO kit, which is a air oil separator kit. As you guys know, we have the Knight Motorsport valve covers on there. You can see them down there. So that's gonna do an oil separation for us already with the new baffling, and then on top of that, Joel's working on the new Radium uh, AOS kit. Radium, like, is, uh, the best I don't wanna sound like, like, I don't want to sound like the guy, like, oh, you're sponsored by them, like, so you think they're the best. Like, no. There is no one that is better, that makes better quality parts than Radio. The finishes, the colors, the quality. I have the fuel cell in my race car, and I've had zero issues with it. Not a single problem. I'm sure the valve covers are going to work just fine, and I'm sure this works just fine without the valve covers, but if you pair these two together, you're talking about reliability, and that's what we want, because... More seat time means we get better at driving and more content. Yo! It's in. It's dressed. It's almost ready to fire. Yes, sir. Are we firing? Are we firing soon? Soon, yeah, in about five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. Countdown. Finally got a uh, intercooler bracket on this side, so that's kind of cool. Now we don't have to worry about that. Uh, half that intercooler dangling. This car, Scott, I don't think you understand, this car was so bad. Oh, I know. When I first got it. Oh, you, you were, yeah, yeah. Here. yeah. I remember. Scotty was terrible. <laughs> now it might actually be worth some money, dude. Now it's gonna make some power. What do you guys think? Tell me what you guys think we should spray paint on that. Because I want to do like the STI thing. I was thinking, I had a couple ideas, but I kind of want to let the internet run wild with I agree. what they feel That's we what should the put viewers on want. What do the people want? But now it looks like it has an STI motor in here. Like if I literally sprayed STI on that, you could fool some people. Not all of them. You'd fool me. Look at me, helping. Soon, my love, soon. Oh, don't mind that, that's the smogger. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm supposed to leave. Scotty, you doing the honors? I'm doing the honors. Let's go, baby. Everybody, watch out. Hi, Mom. Dang. Gotta get the air out. Hey, have you guys.
guys done this before? A couple times. Little smoky smoky baby. <laughs> <laughs> 